The streets are still cold, dark, and almost empty on this early Sunday morning in China's capital city. We are on a hunt today, a hunt for a very special church in Beijing. To get to where we think the church will be meeting, we need to travel across the city of more than 20 million people. We descend into one of Beijing's many subway stops to make the journey. Today we are searching for the Shouang Church, a large house church well known for its boldness and perseverance. Ever since their building was seized by the government four years ago, members of the church have defiantly worshipped outside in a park near a big shopping center. By the time we get off the train, dawn has broken, and we feel a little bit warmer as we walk out of the subway and into a commercial district. Almost immediately, we notice the police, already parked in a pedestrian area that parallels a large square. We walk cautiously past them and into a nearby building where we take an elevator up to the 25th floor to get a bird's eye view of the commercial district. From here we can see that the police have staked out every possible entrance to the area. They want to make sure that no members of the Shouang Church are even able to make it into the square. We wait for almost an hour, but we don't see any church members. As we leave the square a little while later, most of the police have already left. Later, we learn from a Shouang pastor, whose face we cannot show, that some believers did show up and were arrested. This happened outside the park and out of our view. China is no longer the undeveloped country of starving people living in poverty that many Westerners grew accustomed to hearing about in the second half of the 20th century. Today, China's big metropolises are quite modern and even Western by some standards. Everywhere, brand new shopping malls are popping up, full of brand name goods and foods from around the world that up until relatively recently would have been out of reach for the average Chinese consumer. Tall commercial buildings line the streets, and the roads are full of private vehicles. Yet with all the glitz and glamour surrounding China's meteoric rise economically, some things have not changed, as we see in many of our next visits